this video, we'll take a look at a number of ways that you can fix performance issues in Chrome. The first place to start is to make sure that your browser is up to date. Go into the menu via the three dots in the top right hand corner, then help, and about Google Chrome. When this opens, Chrome should go off and check for updates to Chrome. Chrome releases newer versions which can help to optimize files and improve performance as well as security so you can check that Google Chrome is showing that it's up to date. Next, you want to check the hardware acceleration setting. Go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner, then into settings, expand advanced, then system. Here you want to make sure the use hardware acceleration when available is turned on. This hardware acceleration feature in Chrome takes advantage of your computer's GPU to speed up processes and take the load off your CPU. So essentially it offloads video tasks to your computer's graphical processor, allowing your CPU to work on everything else, hence improving performance in Chrome. Next, you should remove unwanted extensions that you no longer use. In the address bar, type in Chrome colon extensions and enter. This will show you a list of the extensions that you have added in Chrome. You can easily turn off an extension if you're not using it. But if you no longer require an extension, then you can easily remove this. Select remove. Then confirm again by selecting remove. And this will remove it from the list of extensions. In the address bar, I'll remove extensions here and type in apps instead. Chrome lets you install apps to perform various tasks from within the browser and your computer. If you find that you don't use these apps, you should remove them to free up resources and speed up Chrome. To remove these, you can just right click on the app and just go to remove from Chrome. And it's as easy as that. So you can continue to remove any other apps that you don't use. Next, let's go and clear your browsing data. Go back into settings and scroll down to the privacy and security section. Then go into clear browsing data. Under the time range, you can select the time period for which your data should be deleted. Ideally change this to all time. Basic will allow you to clear your browsing history, cookies and other site data and cached images and files. Advanced will give you additional options to check, but you can leave these as they are. The main options you want to select are cached images and files. Be aware that clearing the data for cookies and other site data will sign you out of sites that you are logged onto. I'll include my browsing history, but this is optional. Then just go to clear data for Chrome to perform the cleanup. Next, you want to check if Chrome uses any themes. Some themes can easily slow down Chrome, so it's a good idea to select a more basic theme or to set Chrome back to its default look. Go into Settings, then into Appearance. Here I'm using the default theme, and you'll be able to tell this if it says Open Chrome Web Store. Here it tries to get you to install a theme. So for example, from the Chrome Web Store, I'll just select the theme here, and I'll add to Chrome. Once added, you can see that the theme of the browser has changed. And if you go back and check the theme settings, you'll be able to see it's using the golden theme. If you find you were using the theme, then just go to reset to default, which will reset this back to Chrome's default theme. Next, we'll run the cleanup computer feature in Chrome. To access this, go into settings, expand advanced, then go to reset and cleanup. Then clean up computer. This feature aims to find harmful software on your computer and remove it. Go to find and this will start the process. Just let this run while it checks for harmful software. After it's finished the cleanup, it will give you details if it found any harmful software. A handy feature that Chrome has is its own built in task manager tool. To access this, go into more tools and task manager. 
This tool will give you details of what resources are being used in Chrome, from having lots of different tabs open to extensions that you're actually using. It will give you details of what each task is taking up in terms of memory, CPU and network. If you have a task that's heavy on resources, then you can select it and just go to end process to see if that makes a difference. New sites are notoriously bad in terms of resources due to the amount of video and adverts they have. Or maybe you find it's a Chrome extension that's causing you issues, so you can close that as well. Overall, a good tool when trying to troubleshoot and resolve an issue. Chrome comes with an intelligent feature that preloads the web pages that it thinks you'll open. This includes links to various sites on the current page that you're on. Go to Settings, Privacy and Security, and then Cookies and Other Site Data. Here you want to check that the preload pages for faster browsing and searching is turned on. This should help to load pages faster and give you a better experience in Chrome. Next is to close tabs that you're not using. This can use up valuable resources like your memory and CPU on your computer, so try not to have so many tabs open at once. Close any tabs you don't need and bookmark them for a later time. And when all else fails and you've followed all the previous steps and Chrome is still running sluggishly, then it may be time to reset Chrome. To do this, go to settings again, then advanced, then reset and clean up. This will bring Chrome back to the same state as when it was first installed. So hopefully this does the trick for you. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.